hi guys welcome to let's talk tv if you are new here please do click on the subscription button turn on your post notifications especially if you like content about entertainment and sports news so today we're going to be talking about tasha tasha kindele and she came under um fire she came under fire recently for a controversial outfit she wore to the police station so let's just think who is tasha let's just i think everybody knows who is tasha but let's just do a brief introduction so tasha is a media personality she's an entrepreneur she's a philanthropist and apart from big brother ninja she attended big brother ninja 2019 pepper them season apart from that she has gone to mtv the challenge spies lies and allies she attended that it's a pretty much big show too so she is one person that is always involved in politics and governing of nigeria when it involves politics when it involves governing tasha or injustice tasha is one person that is always going to speak up from NSAS protest, you know, NSAS protest, she was fully involved in it. She was tweeting, she was posting on her Instagram account, she was going for protest and all of that. So she's one person that is involved. Even when it came to like Nigerian elections, she advocated for people. She was like, she would come on that, she be like, I hope you guys are going to go and register for your PVC. I hope you guys are going to go and vote. She even endorsed some candidates she felt were credible enough to lead certain constituency or govern state as whole or the nation too so she advocated for people to go out and vote she advocated for people to go to their polling centers to collect their their pvcs right so she has always spoken up for nigerians she's always speaking up for nigeria she's always advocating for the leaders she's always advocating for the people to do better and she's one celeb that has spoken that spoke during the mobile death and advocated for the police to do something about it tasha is a very outspoken person she's a philanthropist she's always going to speak up when it comes to things like that so it did not come as a shock when she said she visited the police station to encourage in fact let me read what she wrote on her page she read she said had a surreal evening with cp idowu ohunwa my we discussed better policing and how the nigerian police can continue serving the people now everybody i don't think people had much issues so a lot a few people had issues with um how going to the police station so people were like oh everybody that becomes a celebrity can now visit the police station but i did not see anything wrong with the patriotic citizen going to the police station to just see what do they actually do here and what do they not do here and all of that i do not see anything wrong with that but what people what she came under fire for was actually her outfit the outfit she wore to the police station i'm going to post it now so you all, you all can see so the comment on that that was fire i'm going to go through some of the comments and i'm going to give you my personal opinion and at the end of the video i would like you to dro drop your opinion or even during the video when you see the outfit i would like you to drop your opinion on the outfit and what you think whether you thought it was fine whether you thought she, it was not the outfit for because we have like three categories of people we have people that thought the outfit there was nothing wrong with it we have people that think like that outfit should not even be worn at all because it's indecent and we have people that think that that outfit should not be worn to the police station because the outfit is um is not for that kind of occasion it's for another one so i'm just going to briefly just we're just going to go through the comment session together and some of the comments were very hilarious i must say so let me just open them up and show it to you guys so first off this is the outfit that she wore i don't know if this really shows clearly but i think there's a video along there's a video in this video that shows like the outfit when she was working and all of that so the first person said i think the first person is anastasia tinye she said decency is so hard girl is just classless you can be decently dressed at jojo and clothing log and jojo and co luxury please this girl needs some clothes or more <laughs> She, um laura fabrics and collections said tasha as a celebrity i'll be waiting has the worst fashion sense wallahi not even about this particular meeting 
make she go make messy teacher dress um, you see this comparison of a thing between bb and stars is just too much another person said be like she no look mirror before she come out house another person said the dress is too busy suit say the the two the dress is too busy and informal fan is right somebody even said they will do tattoos still there i was like where is that one coming from Another person said she and my village masquerade they compete. Um, another person said Ushang XO said your dress was tacky and your response was not necessary. Um, who did she respond to? Okay, I think she responded to somebody, but that will come later in the video. I'll show you. And somebody said this Sophie Jonathan said this girl and fashion sense are so far away. Um, Tasha Koleto. Somebody um here's statistics said I'm a big Tasha. I'm a, I think he meant I'm a big fan of Tasha. But you see this particular dress, Umbanu. Tasha, you can do better than this. We love you. I beg no the follower hand for outside. Somebody, um, another person said, Lilia Mojek said, The shoulder pad, way they the suits, they make me laugh. <sighs> Somebody said, Three words, Otaki Baje, is tasteless, loud, garish, showy, inappropriate, attention grabbing, but stabs you in both retinas of your eyes. Major no no okay how can all these things be all of this and still start being your retina of the eyes or somebody now reborn Regina and said they should all go and learn from Regina Daniels. Um I Frank Carter. I am B model said the only things she needs to she needs now is to wear white glove on her hands and then white socks then she starts dancing. <laughs> oh my god. Somebody said Cruise or no cruise, it doesn't change the fact that that was a very wrong outfit, wrong choice of outfit for an official meeting. This generation, eh, everybody go there, all right. Um, they're always dragging this generation anytime the celebrities do something wrong. So, but the Onyechi favor said the outfit is not proper for the occasion. Tasha, do better, please. Michael, you said, Tor, oh, you know whether. Now carnival matters them they discuss. December don't reach now. <laughs> Clarinet say it be, be like a gungu be careful dress. Somebody said favor anomaly said na normal citizen wear this dress wear this dress enter police station then go push him. I agree with that point. Like it's very very solid because it's the truth. You all know how Nigerian police functions. So another person said. It's an amazing one, but you shouldn't dress like this for such an event. This wasn't a carnival or a one-night party. Somebody now said, this outfit is totally off for this particular occasion. Please leave it for your radio shows like you did before. And then one person, I'm just going to read one more comment. Um, Nana Slive said, different outfits for different events. Yours don't match the event in Cameroon. You enter a government... You can't enter a government premises dressed like this. So what do I have to say? Well, I feel like one reason why she was allowed to enter this police station dressed like with that outfit was because she was a celebrity. I don't think normal citizens are being allowed. But if you have like a different opinion, a different experience, you can just share that in the comment section. But I don't think a normal citizen will be allowed to wear that clothes. It's something that is transparent. And according to like the general dress codes, I think... There are some outfits that are for some places. And it's not even like it was an emergency visit. So an emergency visit will say, okay, that's fine. But I feel like some outfits are not for some places. I feel like there are some outfits you don't wear to particular places. Like that outfit now would have been good for something else. But not going to a police station. So yeah. I don't... I, from, my, from my personal opinion, I don't think she should have worn that outfit. I feel like since it was an official visit, an official outfit would have been really, 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 really nice. So these are just like the comments we got. Some people felt like the outfit no follow. Some people felt like the outfit no follow for that particular event. And that was just basically like the opinions we had. And uh, just share what's your opinion on the outfit's. Please share that in the comment section below. Do you think the outfit was wrong, totally wrong? Or do you think the outfit was just not for that event? Or 
just what do you think about the outfit do you think you, were you fine with the outfit do you think it's fine for her to wear the outfit and go to the police station thank you for watching please do like the video if you like it and subscribe for more because we're going to be posting more content thank you goodbye and have a nice day